Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. My name's Chris and I'm an illustrator and today I'm going to be showing you how I drew this portrait. So um, it's a longer video and uh, I hope you stick with it. Um, there's a few tips and tricks along the way and I show you the brushes. I do use the brushes by Art by Flow. I'll include them in the description below. Um, but you do not need to use them, although they are wonderful. You can use all native brushes in Procreate, so no worries about that. So sit back and enjoy and I hope you pick up a couple tricks along the way. So I'm going to start with this reference image and um, that's what I'm going to be using and we're going to try to make it look basically as similar as possible to that. And I'm going to be using some techniques that I've learned from the lovely people over at Paintable. It's a little bit of a different process than I normally use, but not that far off. So there's a few things I'll show you that are a little bit different. Um, oftentimes, for instance, I will start, well, of course, on a new layer, but I will start with... Um, You'll see me just do a circle and do a line and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Yes, that is part of it, but um, I'm also going to concentrate on the negative space as well. So the negative space would be all this part that is not part of the subject. It's a little bit harder here because, of course, it's quite dark. There's not a big difference or contrast between the image and, or her hair and the background, but it's okay. And then we'll also be focusing on the positive um, spaces as well. So, and the other thing I'm going to do that is always a little bit challenging for me is really, really try not to do any detail too soon and keep it relatively geometric, which again is a little bit different because oftentimes my lines are really round and I'm going to try to be uh, just at the beginning a little bit more geometric. So I've made my canvas um, the same size as my reference image or it's double the size. So as you can see, it's just on a layer. And um, I've also done it so I have duplicated the layer and have it so it is flipped. So I can easily do that just to check, um, just to have a different perspective when I'm drawing. I'll flip my own image as well. So I just have that set up for myself. And then I'll be sketching on a new layer. So I'll be doing a couple of sketches and let's get to it. So chatting about it. So here we go. So I'm gonna just do some, um, just eyeballing here just so the distance okay so that probably starts in about there where her hair is you may not be able to see quite as well here but it basically kind of goes oh see I'm already doing rounded things <laughs> but we will try our best so I'm just going to kind of see eyeball where this curl ends here and that touches the edge more or less and we're going of a zigzaggy down the way here okay and then over here I'm going to sort of give an eyeball here I mean I could also do this when you're doing it literally like that measure so you can see I was a little bit off Doop. and go about there Let's see and kind of create this shape I'm actually looking, what I'm doing is I'm looking at this shape. So you can see here, that shape. I'm not looking at the hair. I'm just looking at the black background, really, where my eye is going. Now, normally, I, I've i gotten used to it where I kind of do that automatically in my head, but I think this is a great way just to actually show you what's going on in my brain while I'm doing it. Hopefully, that's helpful. Okay, so then I can see where, let's see, where should I start next? Um, so that's sort of the outline of that shape. And that actually, you know, let's just sort of get our body going here a little bit. So I'm going to see how far in this line is. Let's say it's about there and it's about that far up. Again, I can go in here if I want to be a little bit more accurate and see where it comes here. It sort of scoops, oops, again, ah, geometric. <laughs> Very weird for me. Okay, and then let's get this shape in here. So that's almost dead center, nearly. And it's gonna come, actually, that's not the right angle. It's quite where that, and comes down. 
and let's see, so that's quite small there, and let's see, this is probably, should I write that it's about the center? Yep. Maybe a little bit further here, and how far does it go up? It's about there. Oops. Okay, and so her, this is, this was totally wrong here, as you can see. That's going to come up like that and come back in there somewhere. And here. Okay, so now we can start to see um, how far her hair goes in. So it's going in about that much. And that kind of goes like that. <clears throat> and her neck again, is actually pretty close to the same line here. So we've, if we've gotten that accurate, we can kind of see where that line is. So that's pretty good. So it's good to have like, just figuring out the relation between where, if this is right, then that's right. So we know that. So that's good. So that line probably comes more like that there. Okay, and where are we here? I'm going to see how high up this is. It's about here. So we can kind of go across and see. Is that right? Sorry, my head is getting in the camera. So that's where her chin is. My razor is a little bit small here. Okay, and um, so you kind of can eyeball how big her chin is, and then again, the angle, cheek, coming up, cheek, and oh, rub right out there. And why well, don't, actually, you know what, no, I'm gonna come back here. And her chin seems to end pretty much where her neck meets. And we're gonna try to get that angle. Don't want to be too steep. And let's figure out where your ear goes. So it is right in there. Up. Mm -hmm. That's in there somewhere. And where are we now? Let's actually just get the shape of the head here. Um, I'm going to just figure out where the eye goes here. And I will know how to bring how much to bring in there. And of course, we can't see this, but we can guess at the how the anatomy goes there. Her eyebrow. And I'm just gonna make an educated guess where her where her forehead goes. And we'll see how far this goes down here. Try to get in there. Oops, sorry. Um and actually, I am going to figure out where her curl comes. So the hair is coming here. And yeah, it's the only problem with this reference photo. Normally, I would have preferred to actually see her other eye a little bit more, but that's okay. We can deal with it. Oops. And that's going to go there. Okay, so... I don't like this line very much. Whatever, this is gonna be a her. It's gonna be more of a scoop line because it is a scoop line. <laughs> I know her hair comes in there. Okay. Right, now let's get some more details in here. I'm going to, oh, I was gonna say eyeball where her eyes are, that's always fun. Okay, so I think we've got that fairly close where this indent is and they go pretty well straight across, so note that. Her eyebrows are about here and the center of her face. 
is pretty much there. Actually, I'm going to bring it out a little bit, a little bit. Oops. Okay, so we know that her eyebrows, you can see, I can kind of get, well, can't see the top of her ear, but it goes like that angle. So I think that's going to be okay. Um, and let's see here. Let's figure out where the very bottom of her nose is about here. And it comes out. I'm just gonna get a really basic shape there. Again, very somewhat geometric. And um, let's see here too. What can we work from? Again, this, I mean, this hair is gonna come in here. Ugh, I hate drawing over an eye. Anyway. <laughs> it's alright. Actually, I'm erase her to be a little bit less. Okay, but that is the picture, so that's what we will draw. And then, um, let's see, in where her eye is, actually I can see that it comes a little bit over from where we have the line of her neck, so I can kind of use that as my guide a little bit. Over, so that's sort of the where her eye would begin and end, and I can see how approximately that big so that's sort of basic and then I'm just gonna kind of draw roughly where her eye socket is that's kind of maybe not so much like that but it's kind of that she's got really cool eyes so I'll try to do them justice And that kind of comes in there like that and then her eyebrows starts where the tip of the end of the nose is but I haven't done the perfect shape of the nose yet but I know it's gonna be about there and they're gonna come mm. They have a pretty quick taper. So right about there. Okay. And this line probably isn't really very accurate, but it's more just got the bridge going. Okay. And then we can sort of figure out where her mouth goes. We know the line is about halfway here. It's, it's going to be rounded. And her teeth are coming on the line here, so they're going to be about there. Oh yay, we get to draw teeth, which is <laughs> always super enjoyable. I think I've already gone way too high there. First of all, let's keep it simple and just get in the shape here. So I'm already getting ahead of myself. Let's try to keep the dimensions right. It's very odd to talk and draw, I have to tell you that. <laughs> Okay, it's again the basic 
shapes of where she is. And then um, we haven't really established this whole hairline here. So I think I'm gonna go, oh, it, no, it's not the right shape at all. Hold on. Okay, so that's there. Then this is in, comes more here. Actually goes an angle here, there, there, there. It's messier. Um, yeah. And actually, I, as I look at this, there's a line here, which is so it's a bit hard to see, which makes more sense for the shape of her head. Oh, this is really dark. That wood comes down more like that. So that's obviously fills out the back of her head better. That's where the highlight of the hair is. And the neck is still there, but kind of barely see that. Okay. So that's actually teeth in there somewhere. It feels like that's a little close, but we will work on that. So I'm going to flip my canvas here just to have a look and see if that's working on that. Sometimes it's nice to have a different perspective. So this actually comes out more. Again, you may not be able to see on the film here, but worry about her hair it's more this in here I see oops a little too big this doesn't look quite right to me this is a lot shorter here that line there so that angle is more like that and this looks like it's a little bit higher here a little extreme cheekbone about right um, this comes more in here mm -hmm. I'm gonna be worrying so much about being not having rounded edges and it's fine Okay, um, let's flip it back and just get in where the eyes are a little bit more here. Um, now, I said they were a little bit in from the neck, so that is right, up here to here. Good if I use my pen and not my eraser. Okay, so let's get in here with the eye. And just get the basic like location of actually it's like almost over here just very basic that does not look right okay
Okay, so I feel like, I wonder if my eyes are a little bit high. They look like they're a little bit high. Just thinking, okay. Maybe the nose, everything seems like it's a little bit on the high side. Okay, so we can easily, during this stage, go grab everything. And bring it down a smidge. Let's see. I think that's closer, but honestly, it could still be more. Okay. This is what's so great about Procreate is, oh, sorry. This is what's so great about Procreate. You can make all these changes in your sketches and just without having to redraw everything. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, have I gone too low now? No, I don't think so. I think that's good. Eyebrows. They're all right. Maybe the eyebrows just a smidge off here. Just fine tuning. Okay, um, I think that's better. Just to get in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is actually just turn down the opacity of my sketch and way down and go over with a more detailed sketch. So just refining and making a few more details but still keeping it, you know, not perfect, perfect line work or anything, but just going in and making this a little bit more clear. So, especially with the facial features. So I think I will sort of speed this up and you can watch me just refine the sketch.
So I'm just gonna go and just give myself a little bit of guidelines on start thinking about the shadows and stuff like that. But the sketch isn't going to be perfect. Um, it's okay, it doesn't need to be at this point because I will be painting on it, so that's no problem. I'm just gonna walk, oops, no, I'll go do that, walk in some hair there. Just kind of start to get an idea of the shapes and shadows here and giving myself some little reminders. There. Yeah, so that I think is pretty good. I mean, I have the general proportions and the shapes. Oh, I'm noticing this is not quite to my liking. Um, let's see, it's gonna be going more, it's narrower here and then around. Just a few guidelines for myself and then I'm going to color it, so that'll be fun. So next I'm going to just block in some colors, so just really getting the mid-tone. So obviously the mid-tone is um, going to not be here, it'll be more in between here. Her skin tone, so not the dark, not the light, just sort of in between. And then same with her hair. Her hair is, can go a little bit darker, it's actually kind of easier to paint that way. Um, and then normally I would do the background. I just fill that too, but um, since this is almost black, I'm not going to do that at the first at the beginning because I won't be able to see anything. So I'm going to just go in and fill that um, with just some mid tones. So a way to do it um, is you can go and just use your color picker to go and check out something. Let's say I think that's probably the best spot. Um, maybe it's a little dark. Let's say in here somewhere and use that. Now you can do that, of course. Um, let's just give that. But um, you may have to just touch that up because it's it's only getting one pixel. So you may want to um, just tweak that a little bit in your color wheel if that's not going to be the right color because I think that's a little dark probably. Um, so we can go do that just in here. You can just lighten it up. Maybe keep it a little bit. Maybe still just a little lighter, a little warmer. That's probably good, just to start off with. Um, and we can adjust that later as well. So let's go and just block in some simple colors.
Now that we're to this stage, I'm gonna go and put in the shadows. This is a great tip I picked up from Paintable, and that is how to do the colors for the shadows and the highlights. And it's just a really simple little way to do it, but I love it. Um, you go to your colors and the disc option, so you have this color wheel here, and you go and pick your mid-tone. And then um, the shadows are always gonna be cooler and the highlights are gonna be warmer. So you're gonna slide this part a little bit closer to the cools to the towards the blues and then in here you go and you make an L so a perfect L so that the top and the bottom are even so it's more like a right angle so you go down and to the right and that should bring you a nice mid-tone color so using the solid brush again I'm gonna go and just mark out where all my shadows are Okay, and then for the highlights, we're gonna do the exact opposite. We're gonna go and select the mid-tone and go on your color wheel, go towards the warmth a little bit, and then do the reverse L, so up, or sorry, the, the reverse L, so up and to the left. So here we don't have a lot of room, so you just go up, left, and we have a nice highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and go do all the highlights now. Well, I mean, it looks interesting. I am <laughs> not entirely sure about this process yet, but it remains to be seen if this is a good uh, process for me <laughs> or if I will stick to what I usually do. It's, um, yeah, a little, a little different, but um, we'll see. I mean, a few more steps, we'll see what it turns out like. So let's keep going. Okay, so next I'm gonna to start to blend all these colors together and see where we're at. Um, I'm going to actually, uh, uh, I'm gonna actually combine all of these layers, all my colored layers, um, not the background, but um, 
just so that I can blend and add more. So I'm gonna actually use my blender, a soft blender, as well as um, playing with some brushes that are at lower opacity, so to add color and to blend color. So I'm gonna just sort of all be alternating between that a little bit. We'll see, and let's pick a nice blender. So I'm gonna use this skin blender by, it's Art by Flo. I'll put, I'll tell you where I got these fantastic brushes from. Flo's amazing. Um, love her brushes. So let's try that first. I haven't used them, this particular set yet. So that's gonna be all new, but we'll see how it goes. So um, basically we're not gonna blend the whole thing just outright all smudgy, but um, we're gonna just try to look at where the planes of the face are. So where you need a harder edge and a softer edge, just trying to keep that in mind. So I'm gonna do my best to see, see if I can't make that happen. Okay, so now that our shadows are all blended and we're rendered enough to start doing a little bit more details, I'm gonna go and try Flo's skin texture brushes here. Never used them before, so let's see what happens. Um, let's do the skin texture or lighter. So I'm gonna pick up the lighter skin tone and I'm gonna do it on another layer and let's see what happens. Can't really see that. <laughs> maybe I've done it wrong. Oh, see, there we go. Okay, maybe that's 
a little bit much. And I'm going to pick up this and try this one again. Loose can sparkle. What's that? Let's try that. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, so let's pick up a highlight color. That's nice. Okay, let's see if that, what that's done. So you can see the difference off and on, off and on. Okay, I'm actually gonna go and take a soft brush and just take away a little bit that I don't want. Just don't wanna get too muddy. Let's see if we have any freckles. Oh, here we go. Lovely. Um, this girl has a lot of makeup on, so we're not going to see a lot, but let's give her some just for fun. So how does that work? Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to pick up something warm. I'm going to do a new layer, and I'm going to change the layer to multiply and see what that gives us. Okay, we'll bring down the opacity a little bit. Maybe, oops, got some there. And then I'm gonna take my soft eraser brush and just make it a little bit more subtle. That does not look good there. <laughs> Let's do that. And again, erase some stuff here. I think I'm going to actually erase or uh, render that a little bit. It's a little bit choppy there compared to the rest of it. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's try these. Oops, those are a little bit bigger. So again, you can see, I'm gonna just group these so I can show you um, here. So before and after, before, after, oops, sorry. So it just gives it another layer. I really like that, okay. So that's good. Um, let's start adding what should we do first? Um, let's do some lips. All right, so, um, actually I guess we should do our teeth first, shouldn't we? Teeth are not the most fun to, to draw, but, <laughs> or paint, but we will do our best. So I'm gonna do a new layer, just in case I screw up. And, which is, I'm sure there will be mistakes along the way here, but, so I'm gonna go, and of course they're not gonna be brilliant white teeth. I mean, hers are pretty white, but if we can do a color pick, actually they look, they're pulling gray in the photo. So I'm gonna go and 
get a different brush. Actually, I'm just gonna use my airbrushes. I'm gonna use a soft brush. No, actually I lied. I'm gonna use a hard brush. There we go. And make these a little bit warmer and a little bit lighter just to not go too crazy here. Get in here and... Actually, I'm just gonna do an all over color to start with. Let's see, I've already made a mess. And then I'm gonna go bring that down, bring this guy way down. And just kind of figure out where my teeth are. And quite a small push out. All right, well, let's leave the teeth for now and start on the lips. So I'm gonna do another layer with that and I'm actually just gonna bring this a little bit, a little bit colder and get the hard brush in, go really small. And we're really getting pixely now, aren't we? <laughs> just to find these a little bit and it's not a straight line because of course our lips are all kind of bumpy. I'm going to use the old brush here in the painting section. Um, and, oh, sorry. And I'm gonna take the darker color and just sort of start to create those creases that kind of come over and start to create that. This is why I'm doing it on another layer. <laughs> create that round. Rounded effect without having to draw every single little line. And then I'm going to um, do another layer and make this lighter. So I'm gonna bring it up here and do the next layer, the same thing. Okay, and then another layer, bring it lighter still. Let's see where this highlight is. Okay, oh, we are. to be going here. Okay, so now I'm gonna merge all of these together, the lips. And actually everything teeth too because I'm going to start to take this and I'm going to take actually this skin blender is fine 
um, start blending everything together. Not everything, just sort of bringing these dark lines in and, and just sort of making some decisions here. soft airbrush little bits and bring a little bit more warmth than this. And then I'm going to actually turn this off for a second. Alright, then I'm gonna do another layer and this is a cool trick. I turned it to I think it was color dodge. Let's see if this works. And you pick one of your darker colors. And you I love this little trick. Again, a paintable trick. Um yeah, we're on that layer. And then actually I'm gonna take do the hard brush and um, just kind of actually make it a little bit bigger. Go through here. You can kind of make, I'm gonna give her some real glossy lips here. It gives it, as he said, a halo effect, which is pretty cool. And then you can just smudge it out a bit. And that's how you get that really neat, high gloss look. If that's what you're going for, of course. And yeah, I love it. That works so well. If you get anything, that, that trick's pretty fun. So hopefully you like that. So I'm happy with that for now. Let's, uh, I guess we should tackle the eyes. All right. Um, she has really light eyes and they can be a little bit challenging, but first I'm going to start with the pink area and figure out how to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to go and select that color. I'm going to do that on a new layer and I'm going to just, again, I'm liking just using this hard brush for these sorts of things. Um, so I'm going to go in and start drawing the eye. So I'm going to use the pink and just start kind of figuring out where everything is.
And here, of course, we know that there is a light part in the eye, so I'm going to make sure I don't forget that. And this looks... Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit more pink, too. Okay. And I'm going to use my arch. And now let's work on the iris itself. I'm gonna just fix up some of the mess I've made here. Okay. I think I'm going, I guess I'll stick with this teal. I'm gonna actually do a layer below the work that I've done in order to, so I don't mess it up. It'll be nicer to myself. And so, right, she's got a, quite a detailed eye, so we are going to dive in and actually I'm going to um, pick this, actually I'm going to pick this color here, and um, bring it down about there, um, I'm going to just start doing the dark part around here. See, she's got um, some gold sort of flecks in there, so I'll put that up too. And then I'm going to try something and do take a blender. And just sort of blend out that black a little bit. Okay, I think this needs to be darker and some more lighter blue, white, blacks, more gray. Maybe I'll use my pencil 
and start bringing those in. myself the brush and pick this color up and make it a little darker and really push that a little bit more. Okay, before I do the highlights, I'm going to bring in um, a shadow, so I'm going to do another layer on top of those eyeballs and actually create the shadow of the uh, lash line. So I'm going to take the soft, oh, I have a soft brush, perfect. I'm going to take that color and just bring it down a bit. Actually, I'm going to take the hard brush. Yeah, I always change my mind. Let's see. And turn the opacity down. And bring that in there. Now what's causing that? Okay. And then just erase what I don't want. Just try blending mode. Turn it to multiply, and that will give you the nice shadow that's starting to look a little bit not so crazy. And again on the other side. This actually is going to have quite a bit of shadow in here, so we can already do that. And it will have a shadow from here too, from the hair. So we can already bring that down. And I'm going to just soften it up a touch with the eraser. Now I'm going to do the highlights and I'll do them on a separate layer. So I'm going to take a um, pretty light color and I'm going to take the hard brush and bring it pretty small and start to figure out where these go. Okay, now let's get to the fun part, putting on a little um, lashes. So I'm really excited to use this brush because I know Flo did a fantastic job with it. It is the lash brush. Hallelujah, we have a lash brush. So um, that's going to be exciting to use. And I'm just going to pick that dark color. And um, her lashes, they go like this. Here. Not like that. <laughs> they go like this. They come up, scoop up, come down, scoop up. So we're going to attempt to do that. And I'm going to do it on another layer. Probably above all the other eye work I did there. Okay. So again, we're going to come swoop, but not like that. <laughs> And just try to define where my shapes are going to be. Thank you. 
All right, and then I'm gonna go and do the one bottom. Actually, I'm not, I'm gonna do this side first. <laughs> These lashes you can't see quite as well, but you know they're there. Just make this a little bit more defined here. I am going to give her some lines under here in a minute because nobody's without a few creases here and there. So I'm going to go below again into this layer and grab that brown and I'm just going to give her, I wonder if this lash brush will work for fine lines. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Um, just going to pick up, not that, I'm going to pick up, let's sorry, this color and just make this a little bit more realistic for us. And I'm going to use that lash brush still. I'm just going to fade this out a little bit because that's a little bit overpowering. So just softening the edges a bit. And I'm not on that layer, so it's not gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna go and select this lash color and start, start putting in some little individuals. Oh, I also forgot that now that we have our lashes and we can go and put this the shadows from the eyelashes through kind of the reflection. So let's go do that. And I'm gonna just put that on the layer below and it's going to be still with the lash brush. It's just a nice little detail that we can do. change that. I'm going to try to see what mm, multiply. I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so now to do a little bit of highlights and detail in the hair. So I'm going to start a new layer and put it on top here. I'm going to use some of Flo's hair brushes and try those out, but you don't have to. You can use something else like um, I often use um, an oriental brush, which looks like this, um, like that kind of a thing, anything that's sort of streaky or even that dry brush that we tried before, where was that again? I always forget. Uh, old brush, sorry. Yeah. Old brush, anything that's sort of streaky will work. And so I just deleted my layer. Okay. Um, but I'm going to try Flo's hair brush. And I'm just going to start with soft flowing hair and see how that goes. 
So I'm gonna just pick this brown and just light it up a little bit and start to add some of these highlights and some of these details. So, and right now I'm just trying to kind of get the and going with the movement of the hair. And I'm going to start bringing this hair over her face now, too. Okay, so now that I'm happy with everything, it looks good. I'm gonna just do a little bit of stylization. So this is extra step just for fun. Um, and yeah, see what happens. So I'm gonna go to the very top and add a new layer. And I'm going to select some darker tone, maybe like that, and set my layer to color dodge. I'm going to pick, I'm gonna go into artistic and pick hearts um it doesn't matter just uh, any sort of texture brush is fine i'm gonna bump it up a bit and then i'm just gonna play and it's just gonna be happy mistakes something that happens a little bob ross action for you 
And then I'm gonna go in with the painting and I'm gonna use Tri Fresco and I'm gonna delete some of it and just erase, just sort of see what happens. Okay, and I can see if I want this more, a little bit less. Kind of like it like that. Well, maybe a little less. This just gives it a little bit of added dimension and interest. I can go in and do other fun stuff maybe I don't know let's play with these um, bringing in maybe the color of her eye a little bit picking up that tealy color Got a little bit more teal um, I don't know what happens here <laughs> let's find out And go back and I don't know let's experiment and see um I liked what's happening here maybe this let's find out so we can turn that one oops not that one <laughs> turn the original off All right, and so I think that is finished. Love it. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, wow, amazing, <laughs> well done. And don't forget in the description below, there's a link to some free goodies I'd love to share with you, as well as the links to the brushes I used by Flo. And if you like this video, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you could, that'd be amazing. And yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.